Every year, millions of Muslims from all over the world make a pilgrimage or Hajj to Mecca, Saudi Arabia. With the current revolutions and other uprisings in the Muslim world, many are wondering what this year's Hajj will be like. Last year, we saw the crane falling in Mecca a few days before the Hajj. Then during the stoning of Satan, over a thousand people died in a stampede. Muslims take this pilgrimage to Mecca for several reasons. Their ultimate goal is to seek forgiveness of sins. The desire to have sins forgiven by God runs deep in all of our hearts. For some Muslims, they will finish the pilgrimage in three days. For others, it might take longer. As the pilgrims approach Mecca, many of them are already dressed in white. They will stop at one of the designated areas to shower. Now they are entering into a state of devotion and purity. The sound of Islamic chanting echoes over the land. Many will visit the Grand Mosque for the first time and then finish the day by traveling to Mina, where an enormous tent city houses them. Here they will pray, read the Quran and rest for the next day. Pray for the Muslim pilgrims to have revelations of Jesus. Tomorrow is the biggest day of the Hajj. As dawn comes, pilgrims travel to the plain of Arafat. Here the pilgrims spend the entire day standing or sitting near the Mount of Mercy, asking Allah for forgiveness. This is the day many Muslims long for, seeking God for the forgiveness of their sins, allowing a hope of entrance into eternal life. But John the Baptist said about Jesus, whoever believes in the Son, Jesus, has eternal life, but whoever rejects the Son will not see life, for God's wrath remains on them. John tells us that it's all about God's Son. The forgiveness of sins and eternal life is through Jesus. As they leave this day, they also start to collect small stones for tomorrow. At sunrise, pilgrims walk to Mina. Here they throw stones at pillars that represent the temptations of Satan. Muslims believe Abraham was tempted by Satan to not sacrifice his son. After casting the stones, most pilgrims slaughter an animal. This is a symbolic act that shows their willingness to part with something that is precious to them, just as Abraham was prepared to sacrifice his son at God's command. For Abraham, God provided a sheep to take his son's place. The Bible says God loved his son and gave his son, Jesus, so we all might have eternal life. Today in Mecca and around the Muslim world, sheep, goats and other animals will be slaughtered. Muslims reject Jesus as the slain lamb of God. Pray that Muslims will understand that Jesus is the promised lamb that takes away the sins of the world. As the main Hajj is coming to a close, pilgrims are off to the Grand Mosque and circle the Kaaba seven times. The pilgrims also walk seven times between two small hills near the Grand Mosque. This is done in remembrance of the plight of Abraham's wife Hagar, who desperately thirsted for water in the desert for herself and for her son before God showed her a well full of water. As Jesus talks with a Samaritan woman, he talks with her about the living water. Jesus declares, I who speak to you am he, the one who has living water. Pray that all Muslims would thirst and find the living water of Jesus. At this website, you can find a three-day prayer guide to help focus your prayers. Please print it off and pray. May God reveal himself to the followers of Islam, and may they begin the pilgrimage of following Jesus. In John 14, 6, Jesus says, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Please continue to pray for Muslims all over the world. Ask that they will come to the Father through Jesus.